This examination 2019 prelims have been conducted today and we have seen the paper standard is little different than last year's paper and today here with us we have the entire Medigit team of general studies and engineering aptitude paper 1. So we will be discussing the pattern standard and expected cutoff for this year and what are the differences in this year paper as compared to last year. And let us try to explore the expected cutoff and the other areas which can be useful for the students community. So I am B Singh, Chairman and Managing Director Medici and all the teachers from the Medici team. Uh, let me talk about uh, the topic uh, one current affairs. The current affairs this year as compared to last year, kaisa tha pattern and what was your expect? Means it was expected or it is having some different pattern as per last year. Current affairs paper has been slightly tough with respect to the questions which has been asked in 2017 and 2018. Mm. But the trend was displayed by the UPSC as they asked the 17 and 18 also more questions from the economy area mm. and even difficult questions. But they have persisted with this and more almost all questions have been asked only from the economy area. So last year, there were 9 questions asked, this time there were 9 questions asked, but out of 9, if you look at how many are tough and how many are easy and moderate, then what will happen to your division? This year, around 3 questions are in easy category, hmm. 1 question is up to a moderate category hmm. and remaining 5 questions are into difficult category. Uh, Saurabh, what do you want to say from which area they have asked more questions in the current affairs? In so, current affairs, the economy is the core terms. Hai. कुछ क्वेश्चन दो से ले रहे हैं पर स्कीम बेस क्वेश्चन आल्सो आस्क बी बी सी लाइक मुद्रा क्वेश्चन स्टार्टअप इंडिया गोल्ड मोर्टाइजेशन एक्सपेक्टेड एरियाज होते हैं तो एपी सिंह का कहना है कि इजी साइड थ्री एंड मॉड मीडियम कैटेगरी क्वेश्चंस आर वन एंड टफ आर फाइव तो इस बार रिलेटिवली करेंट अफेयर्स एज कंपेयर टू लास्ट ईयर टफ है दिस इज वॉट द ओपिनियन ऑफ द मेरी फैकल्टीज एंड सेकेंड वेन वी कम टू द रीजनिंग एंड एप्टीट्यूड पार्ट uh, as compared to last year, is what kind of pattern tha and what the students might have done? Uh, speak to us. Yeah. In reasoning and aptitude, the difficulty level of the paper was a notch higher than the last year, a bit notch higher than the last year, and there were 10 questions overall. Six were relatively very easy, and most of the questions, these easy questions, could have been done by options or putting the values. As as we already discussed in class n number of times which is going to save a hell lot of time for a student and most of these questions could have been done in less than a minute's time for each question and there have been questions predominantly from areas like uh, geometry was predominant time speed and distance in profit loss there have been question and overall difficulty we'll see it is slightly slightly higher than the last, last year. year the division as as Sarad asked it can be six two and two uh, Ashutosh Ji ka kehna hai ki as compared to last year, reading aptitude portion is also relatively tough. Uh, Puneet Ji, what is your finding? Uh, 6, easy, 2, medium and 2 are tough. But which are the area is scoring or do you feel ki this was very scoring here? Yeah, I think that this year the questions were very scoring. Like out of 10 questions, at least 8 questions can be doable. If they are like medical students. Or yeah. medical students can do at least 8 questions on that. Because 4 to 5 questions are basically where you can use options and can get the answers. Topics like time speed distance or geometry. इस बार और इवन प्रॉफिट लॉस या प्रोबेबिलिटी क्वेश्चन इतने इजी थे कि आप अगर उनको एक बार पढ़ते हैं तो विदेना मिनट भी सॉल्व कर सकते हैं तो ये सबसे ज़्यादा स्कोरिंग एरिया था कि एटलिस्ट एट टू नाइन क्वेश्चंस आप आराम से और टेन कर सकते हैं और अपना स्कोर बढ़ा सकते हैं so the good part in the reasoning aptitude portion is that these are very high scoring areas yeah. and students definitely take the advantage on these areas. When we talk about mathematics, last year and this year, how do you see the um, change in the mathematics? So last year we have 8 questions, uh, mm. this year 5 questions. Mm. Difficulty level is uh, very easy this year comparatively last year. And so difficulty was easier this year? Easier. Okay. 4 easier and 1 medium. Medium. Toughness is uh, nil. So you mean the students can comfortably students can score uh, very well <laughs> this year compared to last year. Uh, reasoning aptitude, Dheeraj, what is your opinion? Sir, just like our friend has said, there are 10 questions. Mm -hmm. uh, out of 10 questions, 6 questions are from easy side and 2 questions are from uh, okay. medium okay. section and 2 questions are Do from... Do you easy have side. any specific area from where the more questions are? Yes, sir. Predominantly, the emphasis has been laid on the geometry part. Okay. If the student belongs to Medici, definitely mm -hmm. just like our friends have mm -hmm. said, he can easily score 15 to 16 marks out of 20. Mm -hmm. I'm sure about that. 
uh, when we talk about the design, drawing, and importance of safety, last year it was 11, and this year uh, six design, drawing, and importance of safety. So, uh, what is your finding, Khabiaji and uh, Sahidar? On this. Uh, as far as drawing is concerned, hmm. uh, in the general principle of design, drawing and safety, we got two questions from drawing hmm. this year. Hmm. Uh, last year, we got one question from drawing okay. and before last year, we got nine questions from engineering. Right. Drawing. In the first year, there were nine questions directly from drawing. Yes. 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 And as far as the level of questions is concerned, hmm. uh, the coverage is becoming wider and wider. Hmm. This year, we got a question from AutoCAD also. Hmm. Uh, yeah, and Which shows the UPSC is going toward the latest techniques. <laughs> yes. Yes. AutoCAD normally in any books mein nahi milta and students yeah. bhi nahi. Yes, sir. And UPSC is becoming more and more application oriented. Hmm. The questions are not tough, hmm. but they are checking the application skills okay. of the students <laughs> and the clarity of concepts. Okay. So Khabia Ji ka kehna hai ki application oriented questions pooch rahe hai, especially from the Drawing person. Uh, Heather, what do you think? बिल्कुल जैसा कि खाबिया सर ने बताया कि एप्लीकेशन ओरिएंटेड और जो क्वेश्चन अभी इस बार पूछे गए डी क्वेश्चन डी टू क्वेश्चन पर आस्क फ्रॉम ड्राइंग अमंग देम डी वन क्वेश्चन वाज मॉडरेट एंड डी वन क्वेश्चन वाज वेरी इजी इफ डी स्टूडेंट हैज सीरियसली अटेंडेड डी क्लास ऑफ मेडिसी डेफिनेटली ही कैन इजी According to me. Uh, design section, mein, you were talking about that there is, are some questions directly from workbook or the test paper. So, what is your opinion and finding number of questions? So, in design, this year only one question was asked, and uh, last year also two questions were asked that were also directly from the theory book uh, ergonomic design and aesthetic design. And this year they have asked about product architecture in which how modularity is implemented. Hmm. So these three, uh, last year two questions and this year one question they were directly from the workbook. But the thing is that uh, some questions of engineering mechanics were also asked hmm. previously. Hmm. But this year they have totally abandoned hmm. engineering mechanics and other uh, hmm. engineering field questions. Hmm. This year they have only focused in general principles of design. What are the designs and how we design? Uh, but one thing which we have seen that there is no fixed pattern and pre-specified areas ki wo yahin se yes, Sometimes yes. they touch the areas first in first year. In second year they didn't ask the question but this year again from the yes. drawing section. In two years mainly they have focused on the mechanics portion. Hmm. But this year they have completely avoided it. Avoided. Oh, so when we talk about these standards, quality and practices, uh, Rajan, what is your opinion about the number of questions and how do you bifurcate easy, medium and tough? Sir, basically in 2018, 8 questions were there, out of 8 questions, 6 were easy, hmm. 2 were tough. Last year? Last year. And, and this, this year? year? 9 questions are there, hmm. only 3 are easy, but 3 are medium and 3, but are, three are tough. 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 Right. right. Yes, sir. So, questions are completely tougher than previous years. So, uh, Sagar, what is your opinion? What do you mean exactly by tough? Are they doable or not doable? Sir, they are doable. Actually, they are trying to cover the whole syllabus. Mm. Last year, they have covered only the maintenance part mm. and production part. This year, they have covered the construction part and services part. Mm. And the construction part questions related to civil engineering, so it became tougher, mm. actually. So the main reason being tough is that they are touching particular branch specific areas. Like we see in the questions related to the uh, quality, we have found the environment, the BOD and calculation of the Biogas plant. Bio plant that is not easy for the non uh, civil engineering yes. students. Yes. So, when we come to the environment uh, section, last year and this year, consistently this is one area which is so performing a part of the material science. And how do you rate this year, uh, Anirudh? What is your opinion on it? This year, the paper is slightly easier and uh, more predictable and more number of questions are straightforward. Course, this section. Especially in environment. Mm -hmm. uh, except for the two questions mm -hmm. which were numerical in nature mm -hmm. and uh, did not generally pertain to the general studies areas. Mm -hmm. And these were more uh, uh, technical branch oriented questions. Mm -hmm. The student should not be bothered because uh, every uh, branch student, uh, all of them would be finding themselves in the same situation. So, as a as, uh, this this particular one area of the general studies area, mm. those students who have prepared well definitely will have an advantage because they can go for all those questions mm. apart from those two questions. So they are not only doable, the people the students would have gone for answering the question. Right. So, Shaurav, and what is your finding about the? Sir, environment, some areas are already ex expect, uh, expected. 
एंड क्लैरिटी इज ऑल्सो देयर एट क्वेश्चन सिंपल थे फॉर एग्जाम्पल मीना माटा कन्वेंशन और इको सिस्टम का टाइप तो वो डायरेक्टली कर कर सकते थे और आंसर को करने के बाद क्लैरिटी भी था कि करेक्ट होगा उसमें कोई एम्बिग्यूटी नहीं है तो एट क्वेश्चन तो कर सकते हैं सर पर न्यूमेरिकल बेस तो नहीं हो पाते हैं Right, but these kind of the pros and cons, favor and non-favor, we can see in the different different subject. Like in material science, it is more favoring to the mechanical. In environment, it is favoring to civil. And in some, maybe in <coughs> other areas, it may favor to the ICT. It may favor to electronics. Yes. So, and in fact, it is in internal competition. It is not going to affect. And uh, project management last year and this year, uh, we have seen a lot of shift and change in the. Type of questions. So, Vishnu, what is your finding on it? Sir, first of all, in project management, there is a lot of diversification in questions this year compared to last year. Too much of concentration on CPM and PERT last year. But this year, questions from project formulation, basic conception, project appraisal, a right. lot of emphasis is there on that. Hmm. Plus, some numerical questions have also been thrown. And these are slightly difficult questions, so to say. But they are again based on what we taught in the class. Actually, if the student focuses on what we taught in the class, you can easily find the right option even there. So largely, last year we had nine questions. This year, eleven questions. Out of eleven questions, four questions we would put fall in easy category. Four in moderate, and three questions are slightly difficult questions. But when uh, I use when we see the calculation part, there were some numerical problems like one about break even related and one yes, question was related to the some salvage value or something. How do you think that these are straightforward based on formula or these require their basic understanding of the subject? Yes, sir. Uh, when we categorize the questions on uh, easy, moderate, and difficult. So these practical questions on like the break-even formula are basically categorized as difficult questions. Hmm. So these are difficult questions, and you need basic understanding to crack these hmm. questions. Because they are asking the multi-product. Yes. Related they are asking to the multi-product. Product. It is and not a single product. And it is not even like the students can solve through options. Hmm. So it is not an option-based solving that can be done in these particular questions. So these questions require basic understanding as well as good conceptual clarity hmm. to be able to solve this question. Uh, coming to the next subject, material science has been always important right from the first year, last year 16 questions and this year 14. What is your opinion, the sir. level of questions and the coverage and which branch student may have the most favor? Yes sir, this year material science was having better of 14 question and uh, this year I cannot say like last year it was more favorable to electrical and electronics students and before that in 2017 it was favorable to the mechanical engineers but, but this year they have focused on the topics which are not branch specific like ceramic, polymers, crystallography, these are topics uh, which are favorable to all these three branches except civil engineering mm -hmm. because civil engineering students are not comfortable like these topics. But civil engineering can get an advantage in the environment or the project management. Yes. So uh, nahi, also they uh, have get advantage in few uh, questions of mechanical properties, basics of some basically, strength of, uh, strength of material, so tension test like. Mm -hmm. So this year more uh, uh, over they were concerned on the common topics uh, and huge weightage was given to polymers, uh, ceramics uh, and alloys. So alloyage questions are easy for the mechanical students, but EC and electrical students may feel difficulty in questions of right. alloy. Right. Uh, and uh, uh, overall, uh, this year paper was material science was easy in compared to last two years. Right. This particular section. This particular section uh, directly definition. They have changed the area, but the questions were definition based. Uh, directly point to the point. Uh, we have given definitions in our polymer definitions in our theory book. So directly definitions were taken. Workbook questions were taken. Right. So it was easy overall. One thing which we see that UPSC is not very clear that what they are going to ask and what not every year they are changing and the variety of the questions yeah. are also coming coverage they are increasing like coverage. this year uh, one question they have included from phase diagram mm. and uh, before this never asked uh, questions related with phase diagram so coverage they are increasing every year coverage so let us talk about the ICT right in ICT as compared to last year this year weightage has increased so for uh, what is your finding on it and what about the nature and the difficulty level of questions Sir, in ICT, as I find that UPSC has concentrated solely on networking part. 
Hmm. And they have shifted the, themselves from the last year paper. Last year we had around 7 questions. This year we have around 10 questions. Out of 7 questions last year, 5 questions were uh, very easy and 2 questions were tough. But this year it is around 2 questions are easy, 4 questions are moderate and 4 questions are very tough. Really tough. Yes. Yes. Right. And out of these 10 questions, I find that it is favoring towards uh, electronic students. So, favoring towards like Yes. Sir. And ICT is one area which is always difficult to learn for students because new things are coming up. Yes. So how do you see this year questions? Are they really core, hardcore ICT area or they have amalgamated with some other areas also? Uh, one thing I should like to say that uh, in the ICT syllabus, we have to read between the lines of UPSC syllabus exactly. So whatever UPSC syllabus says, we have to go into the horizontal level of syllabus and not going into the vertical level. Mm. So if we cover the ICT syllabus in the horizontally, like networking part, this year they have asked questions from networking, web designing and programming. Hmm. That is completely considered as a core areas of uh, like uh, computer science and electronics plants. So therefore, this horizontal area we have almost neglected since uh, three years right. ago. Right. But this year it is given. So ethics, uh, Nitin, I will talk about uh, ethics with. So last year seven, but this year fourteen, and the jump is almost double, hundred percent. And when we see the nature of questions, I think you can give the better idea about the nature of questions. What is your opinion on it? Yes, sir, to begin with, rightly you said that yes, uh, more than double jump like seven years last year and uh, and this year 14 questions asked. And if I categorize these questions in terms of difficulty and easiness, so 10 questions very hard and two moderate and two easy. So as a making <coughs> student, uh, you must be finding the things that uh, I am not aware of this question, the content wise. But I will say that other people are also not knowing about the things because close-ended questions were more, say for example, cognitivism and epistemology. Mm -hmm. So generally these things are, you know, uh, covered in the psychology that is core area. But anyway, uh, these things were there for all the students. So this is one uh, factor which is making you comfortable. So other way, I will say that uh, the questions that UPSC has asked this time, it is a hint that ethics is also having some of the objective areas that are to be covered. And uh, in class, we have covered the theories and directly some terms was there uh, in the question. So say for example, bamboozing, gaussing in the question paper. So BDC students were knowing about this term, but uh, I think uh, if you are having simple study in room, so maybe it is there is no idea for the idea. This, this year, uh, if we see in general, whatever the discussion which has come out from all of you, what I find, ethics, ICT, current affairs and standards of quality and practices, these four areas are really tougher as compared to last year. Yes, yes sir. Yes. When I see reasoning aptitude, maths and environment, these are relatively easier as compared to last yes. year. And the remaining three areas are more or less similar in pattern oh, as similar. compared to that last year. So when we see in total, as compared to last year, the paper is relatively tougher because four are tougher yes. Yes. So relatively it is tougher. Tougher does not mean it is not doable. Definitely when you have studied with the various sources, you have gone through your class notes, you have gone through the managing material, you have gone through the internet sources, I think you may be able to score 100 plus also, which can be a very good score or good score. Yes.